I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shooting Plane. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of experimenting with two different multi-pump guns. One is one of my old standbys, the Umarex NXG multi-pump. And we're going to see what the velocity will do with this and also this one right here. This is a Daisy, also multi-pump. And it's uh, what they call a 35 Powerline 35. And both of them have been pretty good guns for just pick me up and shoot me. I, I mean, I, I really like these little guns. But what we're going to do is we're going to see what the velocity is and if there is any difference between shooting a BB and shooting a pellet. We're going to use, in both of them, we'll use RWS hobby pellets and we'll use the Umarex steel pellet, or steel BB, I should say. And... Uh, as I said, we're just going to see what happens with it. I, I don't know. I've heard there's a little bit of difference, and in some guns I have found a difference between a pellet and a BB, if they will shoot both. I mean, you don't want to do it if they don't, but um, this will shoot both. So that's what we want to do, is we want to see what happens. So let's go back here and start shooting. Okay, we've got the Umarex up first. Uh, I got 10 pumps in it. We're going to try the BB first. So let's take safety off. And we're looking at 532 feet per second. Okay, now let's load it with a pellet. And I know normally you take several rounds to check velocity, but we're not really checking velocity other than trying to compare it with pellets and BBs. Like I said, that's 532. Okay, there's 10 pumps, I do believe. Let's we'll see what happens. 571. So, there was now, a difference. Let's try the daisy. 606. That actually beat the uh, Umarex, but again, that might be a difference in the barrel, plus the fact that I had fired the Umarex a lot more. Um, so let's get the pellet in and see what will happen there. This is actually going to be interesting. See if that will beat the... Because remember, this is a smooth barrel, so we'll see. 561 was actually less, quite a bit less, with the uh, pellet. So uh, let's go back and go back over there. And like I said, I'm only going to fire one round of each one. As I said, I know, normally when you're checking out velocities, you fire several rounds of each one and then get an average. But in this case, again, all I wanted to do is to see, was there a difference? And there was enough of a difference that you can tell that there will be a difference in the two of them. Here's the odd thing. One, as I'd said, is a smoothbore. That's the daisy. That's what's going on right here. And all along, I said this would probably be best for BBs. It was a higher velocity with BBs. This one has the rifled barrel, the NXG, the Umarex NXG. Again, with the rifled barrel, I said it'd be much better for pellets. It was. It was a higher velocity with a pellet. So it kind of proved it out there and also proves out there is a difference in velocity. And uh, again, if I'm shooting BBs, I would much rather be shooting them out of here. Uh, I don't want to, there has been a lot of talk about how you, know, you damage the riflings and that using the BBs in, in a gun that's actually for pellets. In some ways, yeah, perhaps it does. This one should be having a little bit higher velocity and used to but i have fired this gun this this umarex has been shot a lot i guarantee you um, i've taken it out just for fun shooting uh, just to test pellets and other things well just like today testing this but it still showed the difference in the velocity and so it's true there he is and most of you already knew that uh, but the one thing that maybe you didn't know is the difference between a smooth barrel and a rifle. Makes a difference, I guess. 
So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blanking.